A good place to start your research is Academic Search Complete. It's a multidisciplinary collection of articles from scholarly journals, magazines, news sources, and more. It can help you find information, including original research, on a wide variety of topics. To get to Academic Search Complete, start out at the University Library's homepage, library.unm.edu. Notice the Databases by Title area. Academic Search Complete starts with the letter A, so click on A. This gives us links for all of the databases that start with that letter. Scroll down a bit and click on the link for Academic Search Complete. Here we are. You'll enter your search terms in these boxes. Lower on the page, you'll see some ways to limit your search results. For instance, to find only scholarly articles, only English language results, or only materials published within a certain date range. You can also apply these limits after you search, so I'm not going to choose any for now. Let's try out a search and see how it works. Say I'm writing a paper on the effect of material wealth on happiness. Typing questions or long strings of words typically won't give you the results you want, so try to think of words that reflect each topic that makes up your research. In this case, I'll use happiness and wealth as my search terms. For better results, separate your search topics by putting them in their own boxes. I'll put happiness in one box and wealth in another. You can also add terms that might be synonyms for your topic to the same box by separating them with ORs. So I'll add OR income to the wealth box. This tells the database that I'm happy to get results that mention wealth OR income. By the way, I made OR all caps just to make it easier for me to see my terms. It works just as well in lowercase. Let's click on search to view our results. This is our results page. If you look on the left side of the screen, you'll see various options for narrowing down the results. Since I did a broad search, you can see that I got a lot of hits, 1,024. If I look at the list, I can see that my search returned some articles from academic journals, like these, some videos, and scrolling through the list, I see there are some magazine articles, newspaper articles, and here's even a book review. For some articles, you'll see a link to the full text, like this. That means Academic Search Complete has the full article as part of the database. Click the link, and you'll get the entire article. For others, you see the Find at UNM icon. That means Academic Search Complete only has information about the article, and you'll need to take an extra step to see if the full article is available. Let's click on this one to show you what I mean. So now we've got more details about the article here, including an abstract, which is a summary of the article. This one's a very short abstract. Often they can be a few paragraphs long. But that's all there is. In order for me to find out if I can get the article, I click on the Find at UNM icon. And here we see different choices to get the full text. OK, coming back to the results page, take a look at the list of subject terms. These will help you decide whether the article you're looking at is relevant to your research topic, but they might also give you ideas about different search terms to use. For example, if happiness was giving us too many results that weren't relevant, we might want to try quality of life instead. Look over on the right side of the screen. There are a number of useful tools here like Add to Folder, which you can use to collect promising looking results as you browse, options to save, print, or email the result, and this one, Cite which automatically generates a citation for the article in a variety of styles, including APA, MLA, and Chicago. This has been a very brief introduction to Academic Search Complete. For more in-depth help and tutorials, check out the help link in the upper right corner. Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, you can always ask one of the UNM librarians.